What is going on everybody? I am back and I am really excited about this uh, video that I'm doing today. Um, we're going to go over the Tesla pickup truck or the cyber truck. Everything we know about it. I've been working on it for a while trying to uh, dig up information on anything that I could find that Elon has said about it, whether it was in um, a tweet or in an interview um, or anything like that. So I've got some tweets, um, audio clips, videos, everything that I'm going to share in this just so we can find out basically everything that we know about the, the Cybertruck and uh, make some guesstimates or um, predictions perhaps on what we think it's gonna look like and the features that it'll have. So let's start off of everything we already know about the truck when it comes to looks. So during the Tesla Semi unveil, um, this was shown up on the screen for a little bit. So I'm not exactly sure if this is serious or a joke, but either way, that looks like it's gonna be ridiculously large. Someone tweeted and said, will it be F-150 class or larger? I'm hoping for a regular family size truck. Elon responded, similar total size, maybe slightly bigger to account for a really game changing, I think, feature I'd like to add. Later, somebody tweeted him and asked him about the size saying, I'm 6'9", so I'd absolutely be interested in an eco-friendly truck or SUV capable of accommodating tall drivers. To which Elon responded, Sir, this will not be some a dainty little buttercup of a truck. Driver's seat will be big enough to fit Andre the Giant. Love that guy. Um, Andre the Giant was seven foot four and 520 pounds. So I don't know if this contradicts the uh, F-150 size of the truck, but I don't know if Andre the Giant would have fit in an F-150. The next thing we have when it comes to looks is this little teaser that was flashed during the Model Y unveil. Uh, it showed up on the screen for just a second. People have speculated whether or not this was the front or the back. Elon clarified that it is, in fact, the front. And now here's the official invite for the Cybertruck unveil. And you can kind of see just the tires off to the side here if you look closely. And now here's a quote from the Air Force Space Pitch Day. That's it. And, you know, like we're going to come out with the Tesla pickup truck or we call it a Cybertruck. I mean, it looks like an armored personnel carrier from the future. Um, yeah, it's like... It'll look like a normal truck. Uh, people might not like it. It might not. I, don't know. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a couple other people do too. It's gonna look like a cable from movie set when it goes down the road. You're like, whoa, what is that thing? <laughs> it's literally bulletproof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then this is what he said in an interview with Recode. Then we've got uh, the, the the pickup truck, which. Actually, I'm personally most excited about the Why pickup. Why is that? Well, I can't talk about the details, but it's going to be like a really futuristic, like cyberpunk Blade Runner pickup truck. Okay. What does that mean? It's going to be awesome. Okay. It's going to be amazing. Who are you trying to sell that to? So it'll be a hot stuffing. Mm-hmm. Who, who, who you want? my heart. He's like, I find it's like, oh, it's great. Who do you want to sell that to? People who buy F whatever? You know, I'm not, I, you know, I, I actually don't know if... A lot of people will buy this pickup truck or not, but I don't care. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I do care eventually, you know, like, sure, I care, if, you know, like we, we want to get, you know, get gasoline and diesel pickup trucks off the road. Right. Um, and, but if like, if I find like, you know, like I'm personally super excited. By the? By this pickup truck. Cause it's, it's, it's something I've been wanting to make for a long time. And I've been iterating with uh, sort of designs with, with, uh, with Franz and like, it's like, no, you know, it's like. I really want something that's like super futuristic cyberpunk, which if there's only a small number of people that, that like that truck, I guess we'll make a more conventional truck in the future. But it's the thing that I am personally most most fired up about. It's going to have a lot of titanium. Titanium? Um, okay. What else? It's, it's like, you'll, you'll see. It's Racing like, stripes? What? No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. No, it's going to be like, I I think this is the kind of thing somebody would want to buy, even if they don't only buy a pickup truck. Right. So anyway, so I'm like, that's personally what I'm most excited about. But like I said, it could be just like okay, I'm I weirdly like it, and other people don't. That's mm -hmm. that's certainly possible. Um, yeah, but we're gonna make it anyway, and then and maybe we'll just have a niche audience. I don't know. Yeah. If it does, then we'll I guess we'll make a more conventional pickup truck. So realistically, we have no idea what it's gonna look like. So let's hop right into some of the tweets from Elon. Uh, all the things that we know about the truck. So it looks like about seven years ago he started working on the truck, the core design, and everything for it. The next thing is he tweeted at one point saying that it's going to be a six-seater. He later deleted that tweet. But if you Google search Tesla pickup truck six-seater, 
you find tons of results of people that have seen this tweet um, and that have reported about it. So next up is range. Uh, Elon tweeted and said, four to 500 mile range option, definitely. Higher, maybe. So I'm a little skeptical about this uh, just because he has maybe and definitely in there. And there is a tweet that he's known for that has not really been fulfilled. But we'll see. So towing is obviously an important aspect when it comes to uh, features on a truck. So somebody tweeted 30,000 pound towing capacity. Elon responded with 300,000 pound towing capacity. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know a ton about trucks and towing capacity. So we're just gonna see what tomorrow brings. This is probably my favorite little feature. He said, pickup truck will have power outlets allowing use of heavy duty 240 volt high power tools in field all day. No generator needed. And then along with that, somebody said, if it's going to have air suspension, may as well make it heavy duty air compressor to run air tools too. Elon responded, wow, great idea. Since it will already have a Tesla pneumatic system, it totally makes sense to add a utility port. Now these two things are actually really big for me. I do woodworking on my free time. And so to be able to run tools and air compressors would be a huge benefit when I wanna go do things like for a friend and I can't have everything in my house. That is assuming I even get the truck. Zach from Jerry Rig Everything asked about having lockers and Elon responded by saying, for sure. When it comes to price, this is what he said when he was speaking with Ryan McCaffrey on the Ride the Lightning podcast. We don't want it to be really expensive. Um, you know, I think it's got to start at less than fifty thousand dollars. It's got to be like forty nine thousand dollars starting yeah. price max. Uh, you know, as as, as in, ideally less. He also said the Tesla truck will have dual motor, all wheel drive with crazy torque and a suspension that will dynamically adjust for load. Those will be standard. If the truck is the price that he's saying, I don't know how they're going to be able to do that. So with all these things that he said about how it's going to look, be crazy futuristic, look cyberpunk esque, uh, things like that. I'm getting a little nervous about how it's gonna look. Um, but he did say that he is most excited about the Tesla truck over any other product that Tesla has produced. So that kind of reels it back for me. I don't think that it's gonna be super ugly, um, at least not if Franz von Holzhausen has anything to do with it. He has helped design the Model S, X, Y, 3. Um, and so if Franz has anything to say about it, I think that it's gonna be toned down a little bit, not quite as future-esque as Elon has stated, but there's still a part of me that it's worried that it's gonna be just way the heck out there and people are gonna look at this thing and just think that it's completely ugly. Um, doesn't really matter what it looks like, I guess. If it's a truck and it does all the truck-like things that it should do, I mean, looks come second in my opinion to utility. He did also mention that it should float. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to think about that. Why Why would you need a truck to float? Um, I can think of maybe backing in a boat into a lake, but if you're doing it correctly, the truck doesn't need to float. You just back it in and your trailer goes into the water and you're fine. Um, but yeah, I guess it's gonna float. Okay, so these are all of the things that we have heard from Elon uh, regarding the truck. Um, again, there are a few contradictions in there, so take everything with a grain of salt. Um, but with that being said, I wanted to get into a few predictions that I have about it. So the first thing is the glass that was revealed for the semi truck. Um, I personally feel like the truck is gonna have this. And this is the feature I like best, thermonuclear explosion proof glass. <laughs> close, I mean it's close. So standard glass, now, now why is this important? Because, uh, uh, you see, look, nothing. Um, Survived a nuclear explosion. That was incredible. I also think that it's going to have three motors personally, just because um, if you follow Tesla, you know that the next generation Model S, the Model S Plaid, uh, that powertrain is three motors. Um, I think that Tesla is going to be working on focusing on a three motor powertrain. And so I'm guessing that the truck will have these three motors with it. I feel like it's going to have a full size bed. Personally, I feel like it would be a little ridiculous to have you know, huge towing capacity, seat six people, maybe five, depending on it. But then um, all of a sudden come out with a short bed truck. I don't know, that just doesn't feel right to me. So I'm assuming that we're gonna be seeing a full size bed. I'm gonna guess that the base model comes with 300 miles of range and that the top of the line model has about 500 miles range with 300 miles range uh, fully loaded to max capacity. 
Um, I think that this would be a game changer just because right now when it comes to towing with the Tesla, if you've watched videos with Model Xs or anything like that, yes, they have great range when it comes to them being just people in the cars, but when you add a trailer to it, it decreases the range significantly. So I think that'll be a game changer if you can get 300 plus miles when it comes to towing. I also think that the suspension will be basically the air suspension that the Model S and X have, but to the next level. So right now the S and X can change uh, when it comes to from very low to very high. Uh, depending on the model, we're looking at 2.2 to 3.2 inches. Um, I think that the truck is going to be able to do more like 8 to 12 inches just when it comes to being efficient on the freeway, you want it to be a little bit lower. And then if you want to do some off-roading, you want it to obviously be higher. So I think it's just going to be basically generation two of the uh, air suspension system that the Model S and X have. So going back to the game-changing feature that Elon mentioned, um, I know that there are a few trucks that have um, like cameras and extra big mirrors so you can see what's going on behind you when it comes to pulling a trailer. Uh, personally, I think with my very little knowledge of trucks, I think a game-changing feature would be a 360-degree camera system where you can see everything that's going on behind the trailer at any given time. So whether or not that's a, an extra display that shows up somewhere or something that you can just pull up on the center display if it has one like the Model 3 and Model Y do, um, I'm not really sure. But I feel like that would be a game-changing feature. What do you think? Are there any other features that just blow that idea out of the water. Um, again, I'm not really a truck person. I've never owned a truck. So I'm not really one to make a guesstimate on what would be a game-changing feature. Other truck owners out there might have much better ideas. What are your other predictions? Range, size, weight? Um, do you think it'll be five or six people? Is it gonna be F-150 size or is it gonna be massive? Is it gonna look like a normal truck or is it gonna look like a futuristic armored personnel carrier? Do you think it'll have three motors, maybe four, uh, multiple gears maybe like the Porsche Taycan? I, I honestly have no idea even what to start thinking about this truck. I know that we've got about 24 hours until it's unveiled, but realistically, after reading over everything I could, I thought I'd have a better idea of what the thing looks like. And I'm more torn now than I was when I started researching for this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. If you have any questions or comments or even predictions on what the truck is going to have for uh, features or what it'll look like, please also leave that down below. I'm curious other people's thoughts. Um, hopefully you're able to watch the unveil live. It's going to be tomorrow night, so November 21st at 8 p.m. Pacific time, and we're going to find out exactly what this truck is all about. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good week, and we'll see you later.